All right, let's keep going with the arrangement and we're gonna try and smooth out some of these transitions to make things flow a little better. So let's just start from the beginning and we'll work our way through. All right, so this one, we got some effects that should be playing. Let's listen to that from the effects. All right. Okay, so we're gonna get the automation here. I'll just press A to open it up. And uh, I'm gonna go grab the uh, cutoff, my auto filter. And I'm just going to, I wanna start it probably at the top and then come down and then go back up again. So what I'll probably do is I'll go and set my automation to touch, which means that it'll only record when I've got my mouse button down and I'm actually uh, engaged with the control. And then when I let go, it'll go bunk and pop back to normal. So we'll start it probably a couple bars before. And I just hit play. And I'll start it all the way up. So you can see it's already started recording automation. All right, so that's pretty much what I wanted. Now I'm going to make sure to always put this back to read because uh, <laughs> I've accidentally overwritten and changed automation so many times I can't even count. So uh, always, always set it back to read in that way. Um, when you're mucking with controls later to see how things sound, you won't accidentally be writing automation. Okay, so that sounds good for that one. We do need... Um, Gonna drop out the kick just for the last the last bar here. Yeah, why did that sound so strange? Uh, okay, so I've zoomed in. Yeah, I see there's a couple little uh, graphical glitches here to still work out in good old Logic X. So, oh, there we go. Okay. I zoomed in there. All right, sounds fine now. I'm also going to take the hat out for the last bar as well. Zoom in there. Take that out. I'll leave a snare because it's got that little fill in there. And all right, let's just, uh, there's still, it's still very bare bones. I might just throw a drum loop in there just to pad things up. It's a bit boring, um, but we'll just, uh, we'll work a bit further into this. Now, chords, I'm gonna to wanna to automate as well. Probably just the cutoff. So what I'm thinking is I'll have the chords kind of open up until we get to this part here and everything drops in. Same with the intro ARP. Um, I might actually do the intro ARP first. So I'm gonna set this, turn on uh, automation, set that to touch. I can unfold that again. Open up the uh, ES2.
Okay, so you see, as soon as I let up on my mouse uh, button, it snapped back to where it was before. And, oh, yep, got to set that back to read. Go to my chords now. Now, the reason why these are zoomed in like this is because I've hit Control Z, which uh, will automatically zoom the track that you're focused on, which is quite handy for doing automation. So I'm going to now get the chords open. I might actually not even want the chords to start. Oops, I got them both selected. I might even not want them to start until here. Just because uh, I just want the intro arp just to come in right as break. That sounds a bit better. And might be nice just to have that go for another four bars, or eight bars, I mean, and, uh, and then have these come in. So what we can do is we can go up to insert time. We can say insert silence at locators. And so uh, I'd highlighted the eight bars up there, and now I've whoop, shoved everything over. Eight bars, which buys us another eight to loop these guys up. Turn on the loop. There we go. And I only want it. It's a little fiddly. Okay, there we go. Loop. Drag out. Sub, sub can keep going, and, uh, and then now we'll drag the two piano bits in there as well. And then what I'm going to do is I'm just going to go in here, and I'm going to zoom in. I might just cut everything except for the ARP at bar 56, shorten the notes, and the grand piano we've got in there. This needs um, this needs a limiter on it. Just to keep things in check. And we've got our compressor, which is compressing. And do we want, do we want a side chain on there? Yeah, I'm uh, indifferent about it for now. Okay, so let's see how that flows from 33 now. drums at all in this uh, intro bit. So I'll leave them there. I'll just mute them for now.
right, so we're going to need some effects in there so we can take some of our... Uh, thought I'd name that one. Guess not. Down sweep. Now, I'm going to do... Um, I'm going to do some recycling with the effects here. And usually, you know, I'd use different ones, but uh, in the interest of keeping this video under three days in length, uh, we're going to do a little recycling. <laughs> Okay, so then we need a build for that one. We can just take our uh, little noise riser here. Yes, and we'll copy the automation. Data. Now, that wasn't playing. Why wasn't that playing? Because the ES1 cutoff is not automating because the read is disabled because the automation is off and that's why. There we go. I'm just going to cut that one off there too, so you get that last chord. And uh, I think eventually we're going to put, we'll we'll space that out a bar, and we'll put a we'll put another fill in there just before everything kicks in. All right, so I'm going to automate this, and but I want to automate it and make sure that um, that crazy sparkly high frequency doesn't come through. So we'll leave it where it was. Intro RP. I'm going to open this up again because I got another bright idea while that was playing. Um, I'm going to lower the release time just for this little bit here. And uh, zoom in there. And depending on how easy it is to select here. Which one do I want? Envelope two or three? Uh, you know what it is. It's the. Uh... Yeah, it's three, but I might also want to turn off those delays and stuff. So I'll just automate envelope three for now. Envelope three release. And uh, what I can do here is just uh, hold down command, use my marquee, and select this area here. I just make sure that I've got the right area selected. That. And then I just click and it's created four nodes for me. And for the envelope three release time. And we could also mute the uh, 
the dry wet of the delay. Wet signal, and we'll do the same thing with the marquee. We'll select, whoop, come on. There we go. Ugh, okay, marquee, select. All right, not exactly what I wanted, but it's better than it was. And uh, for the kick, I'm thinking that it would be good to have just the kick um, come in just on the first hit. So it's like a boom, da 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 boom, you know. So we can get rid of these. And uh, actually, I can just stretch this region out to be a bar and loop it. Like so. 